Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in today. My name is Kim and this is Kim's Beauty Basics. Today I have a skincare haul for you, which I haven't done on my channel yet. And it's from a brand that's recently been put into Sephora and it is The Ordinary, which is a skincare and makeup brand, which is sold by a Canadian company called Decium, which their slogan is The Abnormal Beauty Company. Two months ago, I made a purchase from their online store and received the products around January 23rd. And now I'm giving you a full and complete review of these products and tell you how I've been using them and which products I'm still using and loving and which ones I'm absolutely hating and not using anymore. So if you want to see that, then just keep on watching because that review is coming right up. And just a reminder, it helps me out so much if you hit that like button. And before you leave, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can see more from me. Without further ado, let's get right into this review. So first, I did make this order from Decium, the Abnormal Beauty Company, which is located in Toronto, and I live really close to there, so it did not take long for my order to come in. So I ordered three items, and my shipping was free, so that was awesome. Came in this really cute box here. Yeah, I just thought this was really cute, and the packaging was very clean and organized, and it just came, it came really fast, so that was great. So let's go through the products, and I'll tell you what I got. So the first product I got is the Ordinary Alpha Arbutrin 2% plus HA. So this is the box that the Alpha Albutrin 2% with hydrolonic acid came in, just so you guys can see. It's a cute little box and I really like the packaging actually. It has like a little bit of a non-slip coating to it. I don't know how to describe it, but I really do like the box. Basically, it's a concentrated serum. So this serum is supposed to reduce the look of spots and hyperpigmentation. This one is 2%, so it's a little bit higher concentration. I believe they do say that this is higher than the 1%. I don't know if they still offer the 1% because I'm not really seeing it on the website. They say that this pH needs to be at 4.9, which is supposed to be optimal and it's extremely sensitive to degradation in the presence of water. So that's cool that they are trying to keep it at the right pH and condition so it doesn't degrade. Um, but anyway, it is a clear kind of gel looking substance. I actually haven't been using this on my face very much. I would say occasionally if I have some dark marks, then maybe I will put a tiny, the tiniest amount on my face but it does kind of dry me out. It's a little bit too concentrated for my face area. I would say in the past two months, I've probably used it three times. So that being said, be careful if you do have sensitive skin. I have combo skin, but here on my face gets a little bit more dry and sensitive and that's where it really gets affected where it's too dry and I have flaking and it's, it's just a little bit too strong for me. However, I have found a great use for this and it's actually to fade dark marks on my back area, which I will show a video clip of. You do not need very much. As you can see, I've only used a tiny bit of the bottle here. I only use about three, two to three drops, I would say, on the palm of my hand. And then I just pat it on my back area where I have some discoloration from old breakouts and stuff like that. And I just want my back to look smoother and more even toned. So that has been awesome because the skin on our backs is a little bit different than our face. It's a little bit less sensitive. So that's been the perfect use for this product and I've absolutely loved it. It's done exactly what I've wanted. I cannot do this every day though because it does like dry. I literally had some like dry like flakes or whatever and so I did have to use a moisturizer in between. However, I do use this probably twice I would say probably twice a week on my back area and it's great it really does the trick and I feel like my back does look smoother only learned this probably a month into using this so I'll try to keep you updated with the results because it has been really good so far by the way all the ordinary products are very affordable and this product was eight dollars and ninety cents Canadian and free shipping so it was just the eight dollars and ninety cents which probably American is around six bucks maybe a little bit less depending on where you're getting it from. These products are starting to become available in Sephora and I've noticed they've been adding more and more of these products as they realize that they're selling out super, super fast. So I think I'm gonna go to makeup real fast as to the product that I purchased, which is the Ordinary Foundation. This is the Coverage Foundation. This is the box here from the Coverage Foundation. It is in a dark packaging compared to the light packaging of the skincare. And the Coverage Foundation is 30 milliliters that you receive or basically one fluid ounce, which is standard. So the Ordinary has two different foundations. They have the coverage foundation which is this one here and then they have the serum foundation which is supposed to be a lightweight pigment suspension with moderate coverage and this is supposed to have high coverage I like a full coverage face I want it to cover my imperfections so I definitely wanted the coverage foundation there are 21 shades of this and I chose the shade 
2.1 Y, which I messed up really, really bad. I will show you a swatch compared to my Milani foundation, which is a really good match for me, which is what I'm wearing on my face currently. So as you can see, it is completely the wrong color. It's too dark. It is way too yellow. I think with the ordinary, I should have chose a neutral color. This is just so yellow and so orange almost. It's not even yellow. It's really orange and too dark. As you'll see from the application, which I will skip to in just a second, it is not full coverage. It's definitely more of like a light to medium coverage and I find it doesn't build up that well. It just kind of sits on my face and it's not it's not my favorite formula so i thought this was going to be my holy grail maybe like last year when the whole hype came out but i i kind of realized as i saw people not really using it anymore that it probably was more of a fad thing but if you are interested in the foundation it is extremely affordable at six dollars and 90 cents canadian which is probably around four dollars american so whoa that's amazing so yeah that's really one foundation that's not going to make it into my normal everyday routine and i'm glad that i purchased it it was only six dollars and 90 cents i wanted to see what all the hype was about i think for me this isn't a winner at all and i don't think i'll be wearing it probably anytime soon. Last but not least here, I have my 100% cold pressed virgin marula oil, which is from The Ordinary as well. And again, for the virgin, it does come in the white packaging like the Alpha Albutrin. So this product is for hair and skin, and I've been mainly using it on my skin. However, sometimes I randomly will need like have a flyaway and I'll just pop some in. So this antioxidant rich oil is referred to almost as a luxury oil by some, and it is formulated from the kernels of the fruits of the marula tree. So this oil is supposed to offer hydration, obviously, and antioxidants that's supposed to restore a radiant tone. This formula contains cold pressed virgin African marula oil and it's 100% unrefined. It is in UV protective packaging, which is great. For your hair, it says that you're supposed to work through damp, clean hair as needed. And then to use in your skin, you're supposed to apply a few drops to the entire face daily or as needed. This product is $9.90 Canadian, so it's my most expensive purchase, but as you saw, they are all very affordable products. And I don't know if you can see there, probably hard to see, but I've used up a little bit less than half the bottle here in the two months that I've had it. And I love this stuff. So what I do with this product is I take a couple drops of it and mix it in with my daily moisturizer. And I rub that all over my face. I do use a different oil prior to the application. And even in the video that I'm showing, I did apply that oil that I normally use, which is not from the ordinary beforehand. And then I take a couple drops of this into my moisturizer and apply that to my entire face and neck area. I have to say it is great. It absorbs into the skin nicely. It gives my skin really great hydration, but without being too greasy and oily. And you really don't need much of this to get the entire face, usually two drops. And if I'm feeling extra dry or it's nighttime, I usually use three drops and that is perfect for me. And this has been a lifesaver over the cold dry winter and I also feel just my skin does look more radiant and more even. I know I've had some breakouts in the past couple weeks but as you can see my skin has bounced back really well and I think it really does have to do with this. So around Christmas time or just before Christmas time at Sephora they were offering this Night Bright Duo. Had two products. It was the TLC from Boost Glycolic Night Serum and then the Virgin Marula Oil which is the same type of oil that is offered by Decium or The Ordinary. I bought these two and they were $35 for the bundle here. 0.27 fluid ounce of each product. With this one here, you receive one fluid ounce of the virgin marula oil. So a great dupe for this. This product in its full size version, I'll put a picture up right here as well. It is one fluid ounce, which is the same as the ordinary marula oil right here. So comparison in price, this is $9.90 Canadian. And this one in its full size version is $90 Canadian holy smokes so basically 10 times as much these were kind of a good deal and i'm glad i grabbed them when i did however it kind of just opened the door to being like i'm not gonna buy the full size version because that is way too expensive for a student on a budget so i found these products online and i wanted to test it out and for me they work exactly the same way the moisture is great and i really really 
think that I'm getting exactly the same product, maybe even a little bit better. So I would definitely recommend that to you. So that's all that I purchased from Desium, guys. I hope you enjoyed the haul. I hope I helped demystify some of these products and simplify them for me i think skincare is very personal and very unique to each person so for me this is how i do it i am a college student i need to do things fast i don't have forever to spend on skincare and i don't have a ton of money to spend on skincare either so that's why i purchased these products i'm really glad that i found Desium and the ordinary because i just really really do like their products I did show you that I did have a fail in that. I don't think the coverage foundation is for me. I think maybe for someone that is very natural through the day and doesn't need a lot of coverage, maybe you would really like the foundation. However, you do have to be careful on those undertones because that yellow undertone is crazy orange. So just a heads up on that, just be careful when you're color matching and maybe go a little bit lighter than you thought you were. I am so glad that I found the Virgin Marula Oil. I think that is a great steal and a great dupe for that Drunk Elephant one. For the Alpha Albutrin, I'm really glad that I found another use for it because I do think it is a really good product. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I think it is great and I think it will work well for some skin types. That's everything guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. I hope that I helped you out. If you do have any questions, just leave those down below in the comments. I will definitely get back to you as soon as I possibly can. I hope you have a wonderful day or night wherever you are in the world and I hope I see you very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.